Getting started with ePostings for CS PracticeWorks practice management software. With ePostings, you can now receive explanation of benefits, EOBs, electronically and post the associated payment information automatically in just a few easy steps. If you are not currently a subscriber, contact a CareStream Dental representative at 800-262-8593. Enabling ePostings. Before you begin using the ePostings service, you must enable the integration. If you want to display notifications in Practice Central, you must set the preference for that as well. Insurance companies are configured automatically when ePostings payments are received, but you can also select the option manually. Select Start CS Practice Works Configuration of CS Practice Works. Select Setup. PracticeWorks eClaim Service. Select Enable ePostings Integration, then select whether to include EFT payments in deposit details based on posted date or payment date. Click OK. The ePostings Notifications section of the Practice Central window lists the number of outstanding ePostings payments and the status. To set up ePostings notifications in Practice Central, select File, Preferences, Practice Central Preferences. Under Practice Central Content, select ePostings Notifications. Click OK. When an ePostings payment is received, the software automatically enables the ePostings Capable option for that insurance company. But you have the option of changing it manually. To manually configure an insurance company for ePostings integration, select Lists, Insurance Companies. Select a company in the list and click Edit. Select the ePostings Capable option to enable or disable ePostings for the insurance company. Click OK. When you enable ePostings integration, four transaction codes are added to the transaction code list. To view the ePostings codes, select Insurance Payment Codes using the ePostings Payments window. ePostings are loaded into PracticeWorks during eClaims and eStatements transmissions. When ePostings payment information has been received, you are notified via the Office Expert or the Practice Central window. To access this information, click the notification in Practice Central or the Office Expert or select Activities, ePosting Service, ePostings Payments. The ePostings Payments window contains details of each payment, including the type of payment, the check or EFT number, the amount, the amount not covered, the number of claims submitted, and the status. You can sort the list by column using Insurance Company, Received, Pay Date, or Status. Select a payment to make changes. To view claim details and process the payment, click View ePostings Claims Details. To display the payment in standard EOB format, click View Original ePostings Data. To select the AR admin for the payment, use the Deposit To drop down list. To attach a note, click Append. To post the payment, click Post. This option is only enabled when the status is ready to post. To mark a payment as complete, click Mark Complete. This option is only enabled when the status is nothing to post. It is important to review the posting status message for each payment before posting. Processing ePostings Payments To process an ePostings payment, select a payment in the list and click View ePostings Claims Details. Select a claim in the list to view the details for that claim, including the posting status, procedure codes, amount submitted, estimated insurance, paid insurance, and patient, write-off, and other insurance amounts. To view or print this information in a standard EOB format, click View Original ePostings Data. Use the ePostings Adjustments Remarks section to view detailed information about the adjustments or edit distribution amounts. Other actions can be completed as needed for a selected claim. You can associate or disassociate an ePostings claim with a PracticeWorks claim, confirm an association with a PracticeWorks claim, accept the distribution amounts for a claim, 
place a claim on hold or remove an on hold status mark a claim as postable or mark it as not postable and update the blue book for the associated employer and plan if a write-off is present you must associate the write-off with an insurance company click select to choose the insurance company for the write-off if no write-off is present the button is not active click post all if this button is not enabled check the details in the posting status field to determine the action to take the claims to post summary posting summary and detailed status fields are updated for this payment this concludes getting started with e-postings for cs practice works practice management software